You all set there, Lester? Ready when you are, J.G. Where's my flag? Canada. Have you seen my flag? We love thee. My notes are gone. Canada. Oh, they're with the flag. Proud and free. North, south, east, west. You're shouting. There'll be happy times. Church bells will ring, ring, ring. You're a jingling. It's the hundredth anniversary of Confederation. Everybody sing together. Canada. I'll take it. There's no try. Pie, yes. Oh, for heaven's sake. Canada. Well, now watch this. Uh, it's, um, uh, oh. I, I missed it. Hurrah, V! The Canada preachers! Hip, hip, hooray! Unless something. That's the order of the day. Uh, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Merrily we roll along together all the way. Oh, last time we played Moose Jaw, we killed him with this number. Yes, over 3,000 people crammed into the Coliseum. But we were appearing at the hotel. In the lobby. We're Canada's new Wayne and Schuster. Maybe we could get a show of our own. And we may need one. Call it Peyton Hill. Who'd get top billing? Well, he's working on that. By George, you're right. All right, <laughs> get loose. Ah, <laughs> the Canada preachers hip hip hooray. Well, there's something there. That's the order of the day. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Merrily we roll along together all our way. La 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 da da da. Scooby, ask Scooby Dooby Doo. Wave the flag. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I. Uh, understand uh, that there has been a report on unfriendly bears in our national parks here in Canada. Uh, the picnickers thought that all the bears were friendly, approached them and found out they were unfriendly, uh, the hard way. Uh, what can we do to remedy this situation, if anything at all? Uh, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> uh, members of the House of Commons, uh, having dealt uh, with the uh, Duke of Bar situation, <laughs> I feel qualified uh, to solve this, uh, this bear thing. <laughs> and I propose uh, that a delegation be formed uh, to paint uh, the posteriors of all unfriendly bears uh, with a big red N sign. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I mean, a uh, big red X. Big red X. A <laughs> uh, big red X. Therefore, uh, distinguishing an unfriendly uh, from friendly birds. Perfect. <laughs> well, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> hammer to the huddle common. <laughs> First of all, let me say that this is the silliest thing I've ever heard. And let me say this to Mr. 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 Deven, Mr. Deven Baker. Even if a delegation could be formed, and I say the word if, with the intention of painting the posterior of all unfriendly bears in Canada with a big red X, how in heaven's name is a delegation supposed to distinguish an unfriendly from a friendly bear in order to paint his posterior red? For heaven's sake, you just can't walk up to the first bear you see and say, pardon me, are you friendly or unfriendly? And if he's just unfriendly, what are you going to tell him? Turn around so I can put this big... <laughs> These bears aren't stupid, you know. Only forest fires prevent bears. <laughs> I, just, I just made that up. <laughs> and in the second place, Mr. Speaker... Sorry, Judy. <laughs> if you're having... And one of our parks. 
and a bear comes carding out of the wood at you for heaven's sake. These bears come at you facing you, you know. You're not going to be able to see whether the darn thing had an X on its posterior. The bears don't come out of the woods backwards, you know. <laughs> and in the third place, Mr. Speaker, I think it's a very, I think it's a very cruel thing with Mr. Mr. Diefenbaker suggests to have the gold to paint the posterior of a bear with a big red egg. I, I think it's a very, very unjust and a very, very cruel thing indeed. I, all I can tell you is, that, how would Mr. Diefenbaker like his posterior painted red? <laughs> but I'm a friend of <laughs>